It has everything. Bump in there, bang it. <laughs> Big Boys Big Neighborhood. Boy. All righty now. Dana White is up in here. Matt Sarah is up in here. First off, I got to say welcome to both of you gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Matt, I'm going to tell you. What's that? You're intimidating as fuck. Me? <laughs> yes. Oh, I just, I? Not to me. I'm talking about like, to Louie. You know oh. what I mean? Like, like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> but, man, before we do anything, we got to talk about the new show that's going down. Well, you man. think he's intimidating. Yeah. Wait till you see him on the show. Hey, no, man. No, but you no, know what? He gets in a fight no. in every city we go. Uh, what? But, <laughs> come on. Put me back in, boss. You don't put even know. In. You don't even know. Hey, you man, have no. to see the show. He gets in a fight with somebody in every city. Wow. It's, it's only the guys that deserve it, though. I heard not good guys. But let me ask you this. Before we go anywhere. Where? Have you gotten into your L.A. fight yet? No, no. Okay, well, I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't, I don't, don't want to be the L.A. fight. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now, Dana White looking for a fight. Now, Dana White, what is that? So, basically, if you and your buddies went, I don't care if it's a fight or a football game or whatever, if you went to, a, to an event somewhere, you'd go to the local city, you'd take in whatever they have to do there. Um, you always hear people say, oh, you got to try this restaurant or that restaurant. So that's what we do. We take in the local things that mm-hmm. there are to do. We go to the great restaurants. Uh, they show us how they make food and, and and what's good and what's not. And then we go to the fights and we look for talent. Man, so, nice. and you know, I'm pretty sure, Danny, you get everybody, especially now with MMA and UFC being so yeah, popular. Man. Everyone feels like they are your next great champ. No doubt about it. And now even more so. We started this show and we, we put the show, the show is on YouTube instead yes, of being on television. That's dope. We're a global uh, brand. So people all over the world can watch this on YouTube when a new episode comes out. Um, and yeah, now Matt gets it all the time. I get it all the time. I, I got your next guy. I got your next guy. And all these shows, people don't realize, but there's mixed martial arts events going on all over the world. Right. We're actually, we're in LA today. Um, we go back to Vegas tonight. We have a, a fight on the ultimate fighter tomorrow. Then we fly to, we're doing radio row up at the Super Bowl. Yes, sir. Then we go to uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota for a fight. We're looking at a heavyweight out there in Minneapolis, uh, is our next, uh, now, when you come in, do do fighters get intimidated when they see that there is a Dana White or a Matt Sarah? Do I, I would think I gotta be on top of my A game. Well, right that's now. that's that's like you know a big big part of it. I mean, pr- just pr- fighting is pressure. That's right, what it right, is. Right, right, right. It's already pressure. Now you know it, if you know that we're in the audience, we're watching you, and this is your big opportunity. Uh, you're either gonna shine or you're gonna you're not gonna pull the trigger. And that's kind of <laughs> like getting into the octagon anyway, exactly. where you, if you're walking and you're already exactly. in the UFC, you got to learn how to take yeah. all these pressures as well. Exactly. You Man, can't do choke. You, do you ever go to a city or a state and you look at the person and you're like, Dana, why are we looking at this guy? I can whoop his ass myself. <laughs> no, no. Well, I mean, uh, I usually think I can whip people's asses anyway. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> but that's not the point. Like, though. Like, no. Why are we here? No, no. Well, you know, we'll, hey, listen. I mean, you have to play the numbers. Like, we'll, not every event we're gonna find a, a world beater or. Right. Uh, you know, some of the guys that we found, we found some talented guys already. Sage Northcutt. Right. Uh, yeah, man. Even Randy Brown just fought this last weekend and he won. Uh, a kid from Brooklyn who we mm-hmm. found on our uh, first episode. So we're finding talent, but you got to go through some lemons to make some lemonade, though. Yes, sir. Know? Yes, sir. And you got to go through a lot yeah. of lemons for a good glass of lemonade. <laughs> Is there any fighters that have that have you seen lose but been like, man, I think that guy, even though he lost, I think he has potential? Oh, yeah. Or I think, man, yeah. Alaska, the next Exactly. Episode. Not to the, not the let the cat out of the bag, but there was one kid who was a gritty as heck and, uh, and uh, you know it wasn't his night, and uh, and we mm. we talk about that in the show. So that's coming wow. up. That's coming up uh, this th- Wednesday or Thursday, yeah. right? The next episode. Amen. And yep. with Sage yeah. Northcutt, now this was a guy that that you guys pretty much picked in the pilot. This was the guy that that we felt like, man, this is a a UFC fighter. We about to watch something shine with this guy. Yeah. And then we watch the fight, and he doesn't win. Yeah. yeah. Now Dana, that shows you right there that UFC is not set up. Because I would have definitely been like, hey, man, he's winning the second yeah. round. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to show you something. I'm pulling this up on my phone. This this was my bad. This was his throat yeah. on Thursday. What? What the Let hell? Me see. Uh, oh, god! Looks like something out of Aliens. Ew, it is. What kind, that's blue and what? Damn. That was his throat on Thursday. And the awesome. kid really wanted to fight, yeah. and I let him fight. And he was oh. sick so of you, him. So you knew that I before going in there? Yeah, I blew Dana, that you one. piece of shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so bad. So, know. so he was feeling under, and not writing him any excuse, but man, he was going in yeah. already <laughs> The kid battered. was super sick, and he still wow. wanted to fight. His father said, listen, we still want to take this fight. We want to take this fight. I should have pulled the kid from the fight. He's 19 years old. Right. Yeah, man. He fought three times in three months. Right. I should have pulled him. Do, do you wow. feel like with with Sage that it's not over, though? It can't oh, be over. Oh, no, no. Hell, 19 no. years okay. old. Yeah, the kid's, right. The kid's 19. You know, 
the, one of the things that you'll see in the show too, in having somebody like Matt, Matt's so knowledgeable about the sport and, and, and everything. He's done it all. He's, he's, he's been a world champion. He went through the ultimate fighter himself. He's done everything you could do. He literally goes back and, and, shows kids what they did wrong, how they lost, what they need to do. And what was great was when Sage lost, Sage came back to my room and Matt was in there and Matt gave him a talk to. Matt said, kid, listen, I was 26 years old. Shoney Carter <laughs> caught me with a spinning back fist. You know, uh, and, 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 and you're 19. You, get, you uh, got the world right. by the balls. He's, it's, ahead trust. The, he's ahead of the game. He is. He's 19. My first shot in here, I was 26 years old, like Dana was saying. You know what I mean? So he's got he's – got, a bright, bright future. Maybe so, you're the next one, Louie. I don't know. No, I did take uh, four years of jiu-jitsu. Yeah, ah, he says yeah. this, but I yeah, highly man, doubt so. it. But <laughs> I could take hey, it. come on, man. I really This did. is like oh, uh, Gracie you. Academy, one of the Gracies. This, this is like when Al Bundy say the touchdowns poke come high. On, like, man. Like, this, this is almost too. his thing. I, I, I'd put him versus Nick the Tooth, though. I don't know if you saw our partner on the show. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got my money on you. You got to see You got to see the third one on our group. It takes a different individual to say that they enjoy going in there yeah, and man. getting into an octagon and and doing MMA and fighting, though. You it know? does. It's a very small percentage Ooh. of the population on this planet. Mm -hmm. um, that And to break into the top five and become a world champion, it's even less. Uh, very, very special group of people. And, and like, you'll hear people, I took jujitsu or I, I take kickboxing or yeah. I go here or I go there. Um you're born a fighter. You, you're not right. made a fighter. You don't go down and take some jujitsu classes right. and become a fighter. Like, I'm at Equinox. You're yeah. born to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, it's your, you, you were put on this earth Man, to do that. I, I don't remember who it was. It, it, I don't think it was it, it was Josh, but I was just watching some <laughs> interview over Fight Weekend, and he was like, you know, I don't do it for the money. I do it for the taste of the blood. And I, and I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Well, that's why the guy that come from the, the guys that come from – the Matt Serra era, the, the yes. Chuck Liddell's and guys like that, yeah, they weren't making money. It cost yeah. them money to be in this sport yeah, back man. in those days. I you remember know when they mean? had used to have all of like forty five thousand logos on their shorts. <laughs> I remember that <laughs> Winchell's Donuts, Mike yeah. Mechanic <laughs> Shop, like like everything. It's true. And you guys, y'all, Matt, you guys paved the way for cats that we see now that can get yeah. these money fights. You well, know, now, yeah. Well, now you look at the sport; it's taking over the world. Yeah, back when yeah, I was yeah, fighting, man. I thought it was going to end any moment. Right. I was going to be like, "This is something that I could tell my kids and grandkids." Yeah, there used to be a sport you'd fight in a cage and be like, "Ah, oh, you're crazy." What are you talking? I think about? I heard about that. Yeah, <laughs> not jousting, not jousting. No. We weren't on top of. But have you you seen the sport grow, Matt? Like uh -huh. how from from when you were in the octagon to oh, what yeah. you see now? How have you seen the sport evolve? Well, I'll tell you. Um, when I first started fighting, I'd like go and I'd go to Vegas and I'd come back and tell my friends, no, seriously, I, I signed an autograph. I wanted to pitch it with them. Like, yeah, you're full of it. Right. And now, and then after I went on the Ultimate Fighter, that's when, that's the huge, that's the big thing that changed the whole sport. And wow. it changed my life per personally. It changed my life dramatically, you know. How did the relationship stay together? Oh, me and Dana? Yeah. yeah. You know, I hit it off with Dana from, I mean, I knew him since 2001. I fought on UFC 30 or 31, which was wow. my first fight. Mm. Now we're, I don't, what are we up to almost 200? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it shows my age. Then. But yeah, so I, we, you know, we, uh, we got along back then and, you know, friendship grew over the years, you know. But Dana, there's so many people, you've been, there's so many fighters that's been associated with UFC that, not that it's wild, but you know, like, like, what did you see in Matt that you were like, hey, I got this idea. <laughs> why'd, you no, bring, no. why'd you bring this guy? <laughs> yeah, no, no, like, Matt, like, pretty much, I don't want to say it like boy, that. Why are you <laughs> blowing <laughs> up my spot? <laughs> like, like, why him and not me? <laughs> <laughs> so, so Matt is a guy that I've been, you know, Matt's got a great personality. He, he, he is the show. The, uh, the, the the show the show looking for a fight it's 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 man, Matt. Let him say this, bro. It is no, it's true. <laughs> and and and, and I'm being kind of selfish here because. You know, I've been waiting to put Matt on TV for a while. Matt, Matt was this close to having a uh, a, a big network deal, uh, a sitcom, his own oh, sitcom. I love it. Yeah, wow. there, there's a, there's a guy here in Hollywood who is cranking and trying to get this thing done. So I'm being selfish. I said, listen, before Matt takes off and gets this this big deal, I'm going to pull him in and do. Why the not show Matt Sarah looking for a fight? Why yeah, you to put your name on. <laughs> no. it? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, well, is yeah. it the rhyme? <laughs> it, it, it literally is the Matt Sarah <laughs> right. show. So yeah. <laughs> I'm stealing the thunder, I guess. Now, where where are we able to catch Dana White looking for a fight? It's on YouTube. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, what we're doing is we're pumping out one a month. There's two on there right now. There's the pilot in the first episode, and uh, the second episode comes out this week. How do you, Dana White, how do you not become so attached to your fighters? 
Ah, uh, you do, you do. Right, you know, right. well, there's some that you don't like at all. Right, some right, are right. just uh, dicks, and and, yeah. and you don't like them. And then there's guys that you build lifelong relationships with. You know, like me and Sarah, uh, Chuck Liddell, and I still, you right. know, are, are very good friends. And 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 many other guys. Well, Matt Hughes, who doesn't get along with Matt Sarah, oh, but Lord. but you know, wow. and, and it's it's but that's it. You know, you 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 have what about what, Matt Matt on the mat? What, can we sell that? <laughs> yeah, Matt, Matt, yeah. yeah you know? These two still want to fight each other. Right. I keep telling guys, it's over. Right. Stop. Right. You it's know, over. The, the, but you know, the, the, just like anything in life, any relationships that you have, there, there's guys that you click with and guys that you don't. There's mm-hmm. there's there's almost. 600 guys in the UFC now. Oh, my Lord. You know what I mean? That's and if you crazy, think of bro. all time, how many guys have been in and out? There's been guys that I've had great relationships with and guys that I haven't. There are 600 yeah, fighters I, right almost, now. Well, almost 600. UFC fight night like every night. <laughs> I know. Yeah, crazy, I know. man. I love it. Good Lord. And you know what's crazy? The names that we do know are when we see Cat Shiny. That's why it's so hard to get to... That where you're getting your, your, your fights either televised or you're fighting for your, your, your you know, your 15 minutes or your 25. By the time you get to your 25 minute fight, then you, that, that's got to be un, almost unheard of. Right. Man. Yeah. It's, it's, mm-hmm. you know, as the, as the sport, this right now is the martial art that men and women are taking all over the world. Mm-hmm. And, you know, now because of this, this, this platform, you know, the UFC, that you're just going to see so many now the women. I mean, look at how many oh women gosh, are are, are fighting and yeah. and coming up now. Yeah. It's it's getting yeah, crazy. We need to get our day in there. <laughs> yeah, Dana White, man, how is Ronda Rousey? She's good. Did you see her Saturday Night Live yeah. appearance? I, saw, I caught mm-hmm. pieces of it. Yeah, yeah it was great. She yeah. killed it. I, I liked her Bachelor one. I thought that one was did a you? really good I'm high. You love the Bachelor. I, I do. I, I like the bully one where she was okay. getting bullied. I, I like that one. That now, was a good. Went, do you have a date for? A rematch, or is so, does she ha- need more time? Holly Holm will fight Misha Tate March 5th mm-hmm. on the uh, co-main event of Conor McGregor and Dos oh Anjos. Oh, my God. And, oh, That's my God, God dude. Like, yeah. That right there we is the $100 even, pay-per-view right there. We haven't even announced the that, rest bro. of the card. Wait till <laughs> oh you hear the my rest. God, it's going to be crazy. Man. It's going to be a sick card. So <sighs> the winner of that fight will fight Ronda probably in November. <laughs> right. Damn. Do you feel did did a little bit of Rhonda's fire go out or you see is she very intense? No, she's very intense. She's very um you know, she she she's she's a badass, man. Yeah. She'll, she'll be that. back. Yeah. You know what's wild about that, man, is when you're so great mm-hmm. that people don't want it's like either they don't want to see you take an L or when you take an L, it's always I told you. And, and, and she yeah. should have shook her hands. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. but I would. I can't wait to see her come back. I just want Ronda Rousey to come back. Ronda Rousey. Mm-hmm. She's she's one of those polarizing figures that so many people were bummed out when she lost, yeah, and so man. many people were happy when she lost. You know, she 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 incites both. Yeah, she's always been my girl though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's awesome, man. Yeah, I, would I, definitely. I love her. I would definitely send her into a room with thugs for me. <laughs> me too. You know what I'm saying? Please. Like, yeah, just like, can you go in there, please? Please. Just, just go, go what ahead. About, so. um, what about John Jones in a DC? Can oh, yeah. God. So we don't have the date or yeah. the uh, or the venue for that yet. But yeah, but they're talking it's already. Coming. It's coming. Oh, yeah, they're talking. Yeah. yeah, and Jones is, you know, it's good to see. I'm rooting for the kid, you know? Right. So talented and uh, maybe one of the greatest to ever do it. So yeah. uh, it's good to see him focused and training. How do you tell someone – Either they're not fighting or, you know, like, because you're talking to guys that are very trained. Right. Yeah, bro. Who could kill me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, you know. And you're very hands-on. <laughs> like, like I yeah. remember one time it was something that went down where where um, Joe Rogan had said something about the truck. And I remember you went off. Like, you are hands-on with everything and everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Nobody's kicked my ass yet. I don't know how that's happened, but it hasn't. <laughs> but I've had my moments. I've right. had my moments with some guys. Yeah, definitely. Was one of them Tito? Oh, me and Tito have had plenty of moments. Tito's the least of my worries. Wow. So. <laughs> 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 Tito, he's the least of my worries. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's the future, do you think? And and I know it's hard because there's so many great fighters. So many fighters. So many great, uh, I mean, as far as setting up just competitions. like. But what is the future of UFC. Well, we're going to continue to go into new markets uh, that we've never been. This last year, we went. It's like it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and yeah. bigger. Scotland, Korea, wow. uh, uh, the Philippines, all last year, and and now this year we're going into a lot of new territory. You know what I love about it, also, Dana? If there's no one, like there could be a face 
of UFC, you know, that you say, oh, you know, Anderson Silva. But it's not like when someone goes, the entire UFC goes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always something else. Well, in fighting, there's always somebody, there's always a new badass, uh, you know, man or woman that's that's coming up. And, mm -hmm. and, and believe me, I've been hearing it since... What are you going to do when Chuck Liddell goes? What right. are you going to do yeah. when Anderson Silva goes? What are you right. going to do when, you know, Chris Weidman beat Anderson Silva? And this guy, you know, it just, it, it, there's always. Had you ever thought like that early on? Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, even in boxing. In, in boxing in its heyday, there, there was always a new guy. You know, there's, there's some champs that are less popular than others, mm -hmm. but there's always there's always a new tough guy coming or, or girl now these days. Yeah, tell me about it. Is in there, the wings. Is there ever a move that you, that someone will create or do that you guys actually have to step back and be like, are we allowed to do this anymore? Like, where does it come to the fine lines of what's allowed and what's not allowed? Well, th there's there's rules and it's yeah. regulated by the mm -hmm. athletic commission, but they're, th 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 these young kids in the game are coming up with some new stuff. <laughs> the Anthony Pettis kick off the cage is yeah, probably yeah. something that comes to mind. <laughs> that comes to mind right away when you're saying, where did that come from? Yeah. The Matrix? What and am I you looking know, at? And that wasn't supposed to happen and when it <laughs> happened it was genius yeah but then there was something else it was one of the undercards over the weekend where one of the cats he got kind of flipped and if he would have pulled this off where when he was getting flipped he kicked the dude oh but it didn't happen but that, that was sage that actually was sage, sage yeah. went down okay. and he kicked him in the neck on the way down it, but it was almost a flip oh okay yeah. okay i was like yeah. man if that would have happened that was sage north that's yeah. all you that need been. Been. Yeah. that's <laughs> All you need. Yeah. Man, I always wish you the best, brother. Mm -hmm. and, and I love no matter how many fights, whatever going on, how, how rich you get, you always come yeah, back, man. Yeah. Thank you, brother. You know, <laughs> Matt, it is a pleasure. Hey, so nice to, to meet, meet you. you Thanks brother. for having us. Man, it's Thanks our pleasure. Me. It's our pleasure. Louie, did you want to say anything? Or are we going to talk behind their backs when they leave? We'll do it behind their backs. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Matt. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. <laughs> it is going down, Big Boys <laughs> Neighborhood. Woo, Matt, I let you off the hook today.